Hey you guys, how you doing? Um, hope you had a fantastic Christmas. I'm sure you did. Okay, today um, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing something not totally strange. Uh, we have done it before, so I'm going to be teaching you how to plot SIP analysis graph using Microsoft SL 2019. Okay, I've I I have this video already, but I used 2007. Excel to do it and people were complaining that I use a very antiquated version of Excel so I thought to myself all right why not use a more recent version so that's why I'm using 2019 um, so if you're using a more um, current version of Excel let's say 2020 it's still the same thing okay so you just follow the same procedure and you should be fine all right so um, basically I'm going to be doing a summary all right I won't be going into details in this video so I'm going to post the link of my last video so in case you have any um, any confusion you can just check out the video this video is gonna be summary it's gonna be quick and fast all right so let's get started all right adjusting my speaker Okay, let's start. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have your, um, your table, obviously. So the, the two things I need for my table is the sieve size and the percentage passing. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy the sieve size. All right. I'm going to paste it on SL. So I'll paste. Then I go back and copy the percentage passing. Copy this. And then I paste also. You know how to paste, right? <laughs> Control V. So you paste. Okay, that's all I need. So um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your graph. So um, you highlight this. So if you watch my last video, I explained why you shouldn't highlight the pan. If you highlight the pan, you, you're gonna mess everything up. So just stick to the numbers, all right? So once you're done highlighting this, you come to insert. And you insert this chart, you come under chart. You select the second option, which is scatter with smooth lines and markers. You click on it. All right, this is not what we actually want. So we are going to have to do some editing here. So the next thing you want to do is you have to listen carefully. You come down here, horizontal value axis, right? You click on it. Then you right click on it. You're going to see format axis. So you click on format axis. All right. Now you're going to edit this, uh, edit this portion correctly. So just follow uh, the same figures I put in here. So this first one should be 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Okay. This second one should be, should be 10. Yeah. The third one should be 10 also. Um, this should be 10 also. <laughs> okay, your axis value should be 1.0, 1.0, and then you should click on this, you should mark this, logarithmic scale, ah, finally. <laughs> okay, once you're done with this, you can just close it. Okay, so this is not actually what we were expecting also, then you click on, you come in here, Add chart element then you go to grid lines and you select primary minor vertical click on it all right we have this beautiful graph of obviously you can you can edit your chart title and you say sieve analysis graph oh um, graph uh, sorry, I don't know how to spell. Okay, just forget about that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is um, I close this. You can still add some other things like um, your axis title. Click on it. Here should be your percentage passing, right? Here should be your percentage passing, and here should be your um, save size. It should be your sieve size in millimeters, right? Okay, very easy, very simple. All right, that is it. If you're confused, you can just check out the previous video, like I said earlier. And if this video was helpful, also please just 
um do me a favor subscribe 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 please and give me a thumbs up right okay thank you so much see you next time